Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be showcasing an easy way to actually chop down some trees without doing any work at all. Sometimes you might get lucky, and sometimes you might get unlucky with this. If you come across a rook inside of your world, consider the fact that it's probably not a good idea to actually kill it right away, as you can use it for a few different things. Of course, you can use it for essentially attacking the other clockworks that might be in the area. And normally, if you're looking for clockworks in your zone, you're going to be looking for something that essentially looks like this. Well, I don't know if I can showcase it really fast on my map. Uh, do, 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 where is it at? Any of the areas that essentially look like this. Sometimes there's going to be clockworks on there. Sometimes there's going to be not. Usually the ones with the statues generally don't have clockworks on them. It's the ones that have grass or a grass indicator that will be where the clockworks are located. Then, when you actually find that location, you can sometimes get yourself a rook. Now, this rook I managed to grab all the way from over here and bring all the way over here. Now, in this situation, if you want this rook to decide to, you know, smash down some trees for you, you pretty much have to just make sure that you can avoid it. So, a few ways of doing that. What I would recommend doing is making sure, I'm going to go into creative mode, is making sure that you actually get yourself some armor. So... Get yourself some armor first and potentially get yourself a spear or something to attack it with just in case it gets a little out of hand. Okay, I'm now ready to start the process. Hey Rook, how you doing? You're not going to approach it too close but you're going to get within the vicinity as a Rook pretty much will know when you're getting close. And as soon as it does so, it's going to smash through every single tree. The bonus about this is that every time it does this, well guess what, it might even spawn in some tree guards for you, as the rook essentially does a better job at chopping down trees than the bearger. Well, the, not necessarily, I still like the bearger a little bit better, because the rook kind of goes in a straight line, whereas the bearger has a big AoE attack that it'll go down to chop down more trees. But sometimes the rook is just easier because obviously you don't have to wait a full year for the bearger to show up. But anyways... This is how you get the Rook to decide that if it wants to just smash up things instead of actually focusing on you, it'll keep going and going and going. And then now I can walk away from it and just easily gather some trees. Um, and that is pretty much it. If you decide that you eventually want to kill the Rook, that's entirely up to you, as it's probably a better idea than letting it just roam around the world, and in case somebody in your server decides to walk around, all of a sudden they get surprised by a Rook. What I usually like to do, though, is I like to keep planting some more trees on the vicinity. So it's essentially out here, I'll start planting more and more trees, and then eventually I'll bring the rook back over there. The one thing is, though, with the rook is, of course, you have to actually dig up all the stumps because it's not going to take that away. So take your time to make sure that you do that safely without getting hit by the clockwork. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.